saves you money. Uh, later on in the process on legal fees, uh, we are often very much cheaper than lawyers. Um, and also in terms of properly establishing your assets and liabilities so that we can then look at the tax implications going forward in order to minimise any tax uh, that may become due later on down the line. So we very much help at the start of the process by providing an aid memoir for you. This will basically just look at all the money coming in and all the money coming out. We'll also give you some guidance as to where you can obtain that information from. Of course, if you have any difficulties in obtaining such information, again, we can provide assistance as to how best to go and seek that financial information. At our initial meeting with our clients, we would very much look to be talking about everything that they need to be considering at this stage. And also, we'd really want to understand what they're hoping to achieve as well, in respect of for them, and if there's any children involved as well. Sitting down and talking through in a very straightforward manner about each element of their other half's financial interests is really reassuring to them. We often start very much with the basics, i.e. in terms of what the other half does for a living or if he's a director in another business and we go from there and we build it up. And to be honest it would be far more advantageous for both parties to be liaising with their accountant much sooner in the process because we can provide that supportive guidance uh, whether it's financial implications or just some general um, common sense advice from your accountants from right from the start of the process to the very end. We help save money in terms of uh, when you're looking at uh, accumulating the information you need in order to look at your affairs um, by uh, enabling you to assisting you in gathering that information in a much more efficient and speedy process and by making use of the resources at our disposal uh, with our experience in how to accumulate that information quickly and easily. My first tip would be very much to be organised, just knowing where to attain the information that you need in order for your accountant to review. So for example, knowing where the bank accounts are held, how to get hold of bank statements, whether, they're, whether there's online filing or whether you actually have manual copies held at home. Just very simplistic things, but being organised would be my number one top tip. Very much my second top tip, and this is really from the experience that I've gained from dealing with such clients, is to just come and see us so as early as possible. So, just come and see an accountant early. Don't bury your head in the sand. Really stress that enough. Drop the children off at the school gates and go and organise an appointment with your accountant. We often come across married couples in this situation, but also we do now come across a number of uh, couples who are not legally married and therefore don't have the same legal rights as a married couple. It's just as important for them as it is a married couple to really sit down and talk about their affairs at the earliest stage possible. They don't often know the benefits to be had of sitting down at an early stage um, to discuss those financial implications and again we're very much there to support them and, and tell them what they need to do and help them and guide them in getting that financial information and making it, well trying to make it, a, a smooth ride as possible for that couple. Sitting down with them and talking about their financial, about your financial affairs is incredibly important and will also stand you in good stead in ensuring that you try and attain what you're hoping to achieve out of that relationship for yourself and perhaps for your children as well. Don't put off coming to see us. We're not that scary and the first meeting is free.